All right, hi there. Welcome back. It's T Man, My World 67. And we. I know you from somewhere. We've got. Uh, this Hornby. Uh, Mark's engine. That I put together. And. The last I showed you, I had just gotten in these cars. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you what I've done. As I was showing you in the other video, these cars have this hoop on them, this little wire ring. And uh, this car didn't have any. But, uh, I don't know why I'm having such a problem getting that out of there now. There we go. Uh, but I put one, I made one for it, and put it on here. I might change it later, but this works real good. Uh, this is actually a paper clip. I just tried it to see if it was going to work, and um, reshaped it, formed it as close as I could get it to the other ones and uh, put it on this end of this car and it works yeah, it's nice solid <coughs> solid wire didn't put one on this end uh, I still might uh, but I didn't put one on this end because uh, for a reason because I wanted to show you this car uh, how this works before I did that. If you remember in the first video, I had mentioned that I was going to cut a slot in this coupler that I made. And so I did. I cut the slot in the coupler. And then I decided, well, I needed a hook on it. I couldn't figure out how to cut a slot in down here and a slot up here separate. So what I did was, for now, and it seems to work real good, and I'm sure either if this doesn't hold, um, I can take some 10 minute epoxy and put on there and do, do the same thing. Now, I took a piece of that chrome plated copper 16 gauge and put across the tip where the coupler bends here and that made a stop turn it a little bit here for the hook and we still have uh, the coupler is still bent and shaped to do the marks. It's no problem. Or we can take it out of the marks. And we can pull the Hornby Freight. Which was my main purpose. I get you get a better view of that there. You see how the hook comes right up through the top side of the coupler and sets back against that wire stop. Attaches together, goes together real quick and real easy. It usually comes apart easily when you're using two hands anyway.
works real good. Now I've got one other thing I still want to do to this. Uh, I tried a little tin cap off of uh, a standard gauge um, air drum and it looked pretty good but wasn't still what I want so I have not yet put anything on there yet. I'm still uh, going to mount and I had those on there temporarily. Um, I'm still going to mount these on the front of this um, temporarily I think. Um, or I might put some screws on the front of it. Little short screws on each side. Let the head sit up. I don't know yet, but I'm going to do something with it tonight. Um, glad I got the coupler done. I am going to paint that coupler black. And this was just the trial coupler. So later on, I'm going to build a little stronger coupler. Uh, this one will work. As I said, I, I, it'll take a lot of pull. Um, it, it takes up some force uh, to bend that, but it is really light aluminum. Uh, and so I want to fix a little stronger coupler for it. But anyway... Um, that's all I have for you. Uh, this may be the last video on this on these army cars, and um, this Harmby engine. But you will see it again uh, when we get it out to the layout and run it around the layout. All right, that's all I have for you for now. A quick video. Uh, remember, two things Ben and I say. Don't despise the junk. And what I say is, sometimes it's good just to use what you have. All right, happy rails until we meet again.